For this module, we're going to talk about the pragmatic concept called what is said and what is meant. First, let's refresh our memory about what we talked about in the previous module. Remember last time we looked at this letter that Jonathan wrote to Mary, where he wrote, Mary, you really are a great person. I hope we can keep in correspondence. And then he put that letter in a bottle and threw it into the ocean. Uh, so last time we talked about what this letter might mean, we brainstormed some possible explanations of this letter. And remember, one of the possibilities we thought of is that maybe John really did not want to keep in correspondence with Mary, uh, even though that's what he wrote in the letter. So this was an example of how someone might say something that's different from what they really mean. Uh, let's look at one other quick example of this phenomenon. Uh, this is a clip from a old TV show called Scrubs. So I'm going to play this clip for you. Let's face it, what a doctor says and what they mean are often two different things. I know Dr. Robbins treated your husband in the ER, but we're going to approach this case a bit differently. And it's very comforting to have the chief of medicine here. I took a special interest in this case. Oh, thank you. Let's face it. What a Okay, so um, this clip we saw was another example of people saying something that's different from what they mean. Right? So um, this brings us to the pragmatic concepts, right? In pragmatics, we talk about these two things. Um, we call them what was said and what was meant. So it's very simple, right? We don't need any technical terms for it. Um, in pragmatics, we, we use the term what was said to mean literally what a person said, uh, what it literally means. Um, and what was meant is the figurative meaning or the meaning between the lines, what they actually mean by what they said. Um, so in the example we just saw before, uh, the doctor said, uh, I know that Dr. Robbins, this other doctor treated your husband, but we're going to do things a bit differently. That's what she literally said, but the subtitle showed that what she really meant is that other doctor is an idiot. Um, if we go back to the Jonathan's letter that we talked about before, we could say that you know what was said was what he actually wrote in the letter. Mary, you really are a great person. I hope we keep in correspondence. But what he actually meant might have been something more like, I don't want to keep in correspondence with you. Screw you, Mary, or something like that. Um, or it might have been something else. Right? We brainstormed some other possibilities. We don't really know unless we know more context. Um, so these are all kind of exotic and funny examples. But we also see differences between what was said and what was meant, uh, even in normal, common, everyday language. Um, so for example, if someone says, it's hot in here, they might actually be telling you they want you to turn on the air conditioning, or they want you to turn on the fan or open the window or something. Um, so this is another example of a difference between what a person literally said versus what they actually meant. Um, so there's one other thing that I want to talk about as we wrap up this module, um, and that's the concept of utterances. So when we talk about pragmatics, we don't really talk about sentences, we talk about utterances. You've probably studied syntax and semantics before in those subjects, you often talk about sentences, um, but in pragmatics, we use the term utterance for two reasons. One reason is, in normal speech, we usually don't speak in full sentences. Um, so when we want to talk about what someone says, the things they say might not be sentences. Right? If someone just says, hi, maybe that's not a sentence. So we would call that an utterance. Um, the other reason is because even if, a even if you say the same sentence at a different time or different place or different context, it might mean different things. Right? Um, so we use the term utterance to refer to any event when a person says a sentence in a certain context, in a certain time and place. So for example, if I say there is a cat on the chair, if I say that today at 12 o'clock, that's one utterance. If you say the same sentence tomorrow at three o'clock in a different place, that's another utterance. Even though it's a diff the same sentence, it's a different utterance because it's another event. Of you're saying the same sentence, but you're a different person, you're saying it at a different time, a different place. 
Um, so in pragmatics, we always talk about utterances, just keep that in mind. Um, so you're going to see this term come up throughout the rest of the semester. Um, but most of what pragmatics is focused on is taking some utterance and trying to understand um, what a person meant by that utterance uh, rather than what the sentence that they uttered literally says. And so that's the concept of what was said and what was meant.